Go ahead. Okay. Hey guys, Dave Lehman here with you. This is something definitely different than what we normally do because normally I'm talking about computer software or anything like that. Today I've got a 16 pound brisket we're going to smoke tomorrow, but the whole point tonight is we're going to go ahead and get this trimmed up, get all the unnecessary fat off of here, get some of the silver skin off, and we're going to season it up. And so, what, what was in the, uh, I know it was brown sugar, what? Uh, paprika, um, chili powder, and salt. And salt. So it's a pretty simple rub to go on this and the whole point is we've got probably about a 13 to a 15 hour smoke on this entire thing. So uh, enjoy the enjoy the smoke as we try to get this different video up for you guys. Have a good evening. We'll talk to you soon. Got a puppy dog that's interested in what we're doing. So what we're doing here is, is I'm wanting to get as much meat on here as possible. This is where the seasoning will take shape. And this big slab of ugly that needs to come out of here because nobody wants to bite that. Of course, we've got a big puppy dog here that would love to chow down on some of this, but man, we're not better around that. That was a lot of fat out of there. Now the thing is, is like most people think fat when it melts or, or the, the fat gets in the meat is you know, it will render, or in other words, it will turn into a liquid. But there's some pieces in here that are just so darn rock solid that it's it just never it just gets kind of grisly or just very unpleasant tasting. So what we've got is this dry seasoning and. Look at that, all that brown sugar. Mm -mm. Now, most of the time, the seasoning is going to be, you'll want to do, do something called a binder. Now, a binder is kind of like a mustard or a, a Worcestershire sauce or something like that. And that kind of helps the seasoning stick to the meat. But we've got enough moisture here in this piece that I think we'll be okay. But hey, who do you? Now Shannon does not like spicy stuff. So there is no cayenne pepper or any kind of real crazy seasoning in here. Go ahead and just... That in. Make sure to get here on the edges. Now, since this is going to be the side that's up, I'm going to make sure we get this good, good season. Now, if I was smoke, if I was smoking this for me. And yes, I just made uh, Shannon cringe right there. <laughs> you missed my counter. I'll Clorox it later. Yeah, yeah. I'll Clorox wipe it. It's all good. Uh oh, little one's getting uppity. So on the 
it's feeding time for her. The quarter food. Yeah. She's sassy. I see why Mike does this outside. Yeah. I meant to do that. All right. Now that will be red. We're going to wrap this up in some saran wrap. About 6.30 in the morning. Baby, you ready to get up at 6.30 in the morning? Nope, some that's all you. <laughs> we'll get this in the smoker and get it all lit up for everybody. We'll kind of keep everybody updated as we go throughout the day. Hope you have a great day. We'll catch you all in the morning. All right. Well, good morning. It is 6.30. Smoker's outside. I've got it set to 200, 200 degrees, and the pellets are dropping in. It's heating up nicely. The brisket rested overnight in the seasoning so it should already be setting in and let's take a look at this beauty so when we go to put it in the smoker we're going to need to make sure that we put it in on the thick side because the back of the smoker is and thank you Mike for letting me because I sound like I'm parroting you a lot I don't mean to when I say Mike I mean what Mike from uh, weekend barbecue there it is it's had a chance to set overnight. All those seasonings, especially all that brown sugar. Oh my goodness, this is going to be good. Let Shannon get in there and get a big, beautiful photo of that. Nice. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer it over to the rack, get it in the smoker. Don't look at that uh, dribbling action. <laughs> all right. And like I said, we're going to put this thing flat down. We're probably looking at a 12 to a 15 hour smoke today. So this is going to take a while. We'll get a couple of these little giblets on here on the side for time you later. Okay, cool. All right, let's go uh, see you out there. Okay. Here. One of the things I'm definitely going to do, sorry. One of the things I definitely want to do is I want to put a probe in there. I have one in the kitchen, but this is the nice part about having multiple probes. Get layer in the meat so that we're going for about a 160, 165 to be our target temperature before we start coming in and wrapping it and we'll uh, get it get it going from there all right here's the hard part of smoking so the hard part is drinking beer
All right, so it's uh, almost 4.30, 4.45, so we're well into this uh, cook here. So 130, 140 on there right now, 147. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull it in now and wrap it in some butcher paper, take our temperature up, and get it through, uh, I believe it's called the stall. And uh, the stall basically means the temperature reaches a point, it just won't get any higher than that. So you, what you need to do is to preserve the meat is to also come back and, sorry, need to grab a, something to put this thing on because I am not going to carry a hot rack through the house. As fine as that sounds, and get this in here, and we'll get it wrapped. All right, take a look at that. Look at the bark on there. That look good or what? So right now it's a good medium rare, but brisket is kind of a tough meat. So so brisket's kind of a, a tough meat. So what we're going to do is we've got our, our flat side down, and we're going to wrap this in our butcher paper. perfect and tuck this under just like that okay cool let's go put it. all right guys it has been 14 hours since we started this little escapade this morning uh, 13 hours in the smoker. We ended up taking the temperature up to about 275. That's where I kind of get it, try to get it finished. Our target temperature was 180. We never quite reached that, and here's the reason why. I wanted to pull it off because since it's obviously 9:13 at night, it's a little late for eating barbecue. Well, I take that back. It's never too late to eat barbecue, but anyway, too late for us to eat barbecue. So we're, what we're going to do is going to leave it a little bit underdone so that when we heat this up tomorrow, when we go either to the in-laws or we go to my daughter's house, who knows what we're going to do. Uh, we've got something going on. So let's go ahead and it's been resting for about an hour. So you're going to see it just the same time I see it. <clears throat> All right. Go ahead and pull this butcher paper off. Oh wow, this thing's still hot. Okay, check out the... Check out the bark on that. Yum, yum. Let's go ahead and just kind of cut into this and take and see how how we did. Now you see the see the kind of the ring right here. That's called a smoke ring. But man, does that look good? Yum! Just cut off just a little tiny corner here. Mm-hmm. Good choice on that brown sugar, baby. That was that's good. Mmm. That's a good stuff. Good stuff. So what I'll do is I'm gonna just cut through this. I'm gonna slice it up a little bit. But right there. That's what we're looking for right there. 
and we'll go ahead and just cut this up for, for tomorrow. Guys, I want to say thank you. Thank you for kind of following along today and as we're uh, playing along with the uh, the smoker and the, the different equipment that we're working with. Um, if you like what you're seeing here, be sure to let us know. Boy, that's some... <laughs> Most of the time when you eat barbecue or, like, or eat a brisket, it's usually very salty or peppery, and it's usually got a little bit of bite to it. This is like the opposite of it. It's like really sweet, which is, um, I can't wait for you to try this, but this is going to be good. All right, but hey guys, I think I do appreciate y'all and taking the time to watch the video, and if you have any suggestions, the, the beauty of barbecue is, is that there's no right or wrong way of doing it. It's only experimentation that you kind of learn your way of what works best for you. Uh, for example, I know Mike, who I will link the video in, in here. I keep talking about it because I follow his stuff and I really enjoy it. But what works for Mike doesn't always work for me because my smoker is different from his smoker even though that I've tried to uh, follow along as best I can. So where the temperatures he was using in his videos don't always necessarily work for my videos. So what I have to do is kind of figure it out on my own, just with a little bit of guidance from somebody else. But anyway, enough of that. We've got some barbecue to cut up. Y'all have a great evening. We'll talk to you soon.